Here's my top 10 best chips for bounty hunting. Nope, wrong question. We did not consider using the right tool for the job. Let me explain. What is the best tool to make a hole? Well, that depends. It depends what hole we are talking about. But how is that related to bounty hunting? Let's see what tools we need. For low or medium risk targets, I prefer a ship that is nimble and can dogfight. I like having gimbals and good burst DPS. For high or extreme targets, I like my ship survivable. Gimbals make no difference at all and I need high sustained DPS. This out of the way, this is my new tier list going along the difficulties of bounties and the top 10 ships I used most often. First is the Avenger Titan, my second ever ship to buy after the starter ship, the Aurora. With a sustained DPS of 551 after upgrading, you are able to do low and medium targets with some practice. It is really easy to fly and I kept this ship as my first daily driver for a while. The Cutlass Black used to be the go-to starter ship and it is still good and a fan favorite. With a sustained DPS of 652, it is a bit better than the Titan. Technically, you can even increase the DPS even more. Personally, I had trouble with breaking weapons and chip components when getting rammed, which seems to be happening sometimes. But overall, this is the first big ship I've seen in the game. Well, I thought it was big that time. And I still like the Cutlass Black today. My favorite ship to do all bounties up to HRT is the Crusader Spirit C1. This ship has it all. DPS of 985, it is survivable and it is a joy to fly. This ship has easily become my daily driver. And best thing is, you need no upgrades. All components are great out of the box. Quantum drive, weapons, everything. You can just go out and have fun with it. Let's move up a step. For VHRT bounties you need more DPS. Sure, you can do it with low DPS ships, but you need to be a good pilot and a bit patient, which I am definitely not. The first ship I use for VHRTs is the Vanguard series. I have the Sentinel, but they are all good. After upgrading the weapons, including a size 5 Ballistic Gatling, we have a sustained DPS of more than 3000. As a heavy fighter, it is still nimble and the greatest danger seems to be an asteroid or hitting the ground. Apart from this, it is capable to do the job and get out in one piece. The RS Iron is another heavy fighter and thankfully back to former glory. I still miss the sniper feeling we had when the ship was released, but anyway, it has all we need to do VHRTs. It can move, it can punch and the engine sound is awesome. I like the ship a lot, like the Spirit, it comes equipped with everything we need. No upgrades are required whatsoever. You can play around with missiles or size 5 torpedoes, but that is only the icing on the cake. A fine ship overall. Another ship for VHRTs is the Constellation. I upgraded my game package to the Conny Taurus eventually, because it is really versatile. It has a crap ton of missiles, it is tough, well, it is not nimble at all. It is heavy and you need to keep your distance to aim properly. The weapon loadout is a bit strange, with two size 5 slots and two size 4 gimbal slots. I tend to keep the size 4 repeaters with gimbals and use her for lower bounty missions. When I use her for VHRTs, I upgrade two slots to 85B size 5 Gatlings for a sustained DPS of more than 5000. You can do ERTs as well, but you need to be careful. Go in, finish the job quickly and escape. If you like to do ERTs, we need to talk about the Drake Corsair. If you go full ballistics, you have a sustained DPS of more than 11,000. The highest pilot control DPS in the game currently. There are a few drawbacks. Survivability is good, but ERT bounties shoot heavily. Set capacitors to shields, keep your distance and finish the job quickly. Another thing is the tendency to get damaged. Check out my Corsair video where I lost guns frequently. So again, keep your distance and you will be good. The flight characteristics are, let's say, not great, but the firepower makes up for that. 
When the bounty comes too close, you need to fire all guns and finish the job. The next ship is the Origin 600i. Check out my recent dedicated 600i video. What makes her really great is the two size 3 shields, which significantly increase her survivability. On the other hand, the sustained DPS of more than 6300 is more than enough for multiple ERT missions in a row. Flight characteristics are a bit better than the Corsair, but she is still heavy and sluggish. Overall, you have a gorgeous, beautiful ship that does ERT bounties with ease. I really enjoyed making the 600i video. Next ship is, well, a bit of an exception here. The Eclipse is a stealth bomber. And for me, it has only one job. Go in without being noticed, fire a torpedo and escape unseen. That feels like a rope class in classic role plays and offers a different gameplay experience. The DPS does not count here. You just send in one torpedo and you basically one-shot everything you hit. Except you hit an asteroid, which happens sometimes. I upgraded to the Typhoon infrared torpedoes, which seem to hit a bit better. Note that the Eclipse is best used against big and slow ships, such as the Hammerhead. Do not use her against fighters. You have better options for that. Finally, there's one ship that does it all. The Hercules Crusader C2 is my favorite ship in the game currently. Check out my Hercules C2 video and you will know why. It is survivable, it has enough firepower to do multiple ERT missions in a row and it is a joy to fly. In fact, it does not feel like a freighter at all, but more like an extra heavy fighter. The C2 is so tough that you can really get close and personal and do a kind of brawling playstyle. And for giggles, if you run out of ammo, you can even ram. Check out my video for that. And here you have them all at a glance. My personal top 10 best ships for bounty hunting. Do you agree? What ship is your favorite? Maybe one that is not on the list? Let me know in the comments and please Leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. More videos coming soon. Until then, see you in the verse.